Coming up on 515, and as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we're turning the spotlight on a Hoosier who is certainly no stranger to the stage. He's a Latin jazz pianist, originally from the Dominican Republic, but he now proudly calls Indy home. I actually recently caught up with him to learn more about the man behind the music. It's pretty easy to see Pavel Blanco Safadi belongs on stage. He and his band, Pavel and Direct Contact, brought a taste of Latin rhythm to Indie Jazz Fest this year. But you can catch them in action regularly at the Jazz Kitchen. I love entertaining people and I love just to learn different types of harmony. Pavel is a classically trained pianist, but Latin jazz is where he shines. His love for music sprouted as a child growing up in the Dominican Republic. For the last 15 years, though, he's been rooted in Indiana. And since then, he says what was once a small and budding Latin music community here in Indy has blossomed. You can see the population growing and you can see the Latin clubs even growing as well. So that's that's a positive thing. But Pavel shares his talents well beyond the Circle City, too. Uh, England, Germany, Panama, Central America, the Caribbean, South America. The Japanese, they love Latin music. I even went to a uh, a Latin bar to dance in Tokyo to dance salsa. And when he's not traveling the world, somewhere between sound checks, he finds the time to help lead a nonprofit. Yeah, the nonprofit is uh, Amigos uh, Latino Center in Richmond, Indiana. He's just as passionate about this work. And our areas of focus is education for the Latino youth and health and social service for the families. As he is behind the piano keys. like your favorite all-time musician? That is a hard question yeah. for me because I listen to a lot of people. But if I go back, 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 it would be Oscar Pearson, okay. jazz pianist. Well, just like some of the greats, Pavel is breaking barriers too. He's proud of what he's accomplished as an international Latin jazz artist so far, but says there's still room to grow right here in his own backyard. So where do you think that Indianapolis could grow in terms of exposure for artists like yourself? I think bringing more artists here, yeah. right? Bringing more people that they can, they can make a change, yeah. right? Uh, creating more festivals, mm -hmm. you know, about, about different Latin music or any kind of world music. Hello, guys! <laughs> By the way, Pavel and his bandmates on Direct Contact are back in, back at it again next week. They're going to be performing at the Jazz Kitchen next Friday night. And if you're interested in catching them live, we're going to have more info there posted online. Um, you can kind of hear just tidbits there. The only thing bigger than I'd say, like his love for music and jazz and all that, is probably his personality. So mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun getting to catch up with him. And I heard you, Chuck, as he's playing with his bandmates, <laughs> you can see them, you're like naming off yeah. some of the other people there. So he's playing with some heavy hitters, he's too. He's playing yeah. with some of the best jazz musicians yeah. in the country. And that's one of the benefits that Pavel has about playing in Indiana, because we have seriously some of the best jazz musicians who live here and they all play together in their yeah. different bands like you saw rob dixon on the sax it's uh, he is awesome quite a few yeah, yeah. he was like they started off as a handful and it's just been growing so yeah. i guess just as the scene grows they're picking up people for their for their group too and huh? don't forget hispanic heritage month goes on into october yeah. until october 15th doesn't just end this week so i got a few more weeks of that to go